So for my eyebrows, I use this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Chocolate. And for my highlight underneath my concealer, I mean my highlight underneath my concealer, my concealer underneath my eyebrow, I use this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. So yeah, I did my eyebrows off camera. So, so my foundation that I'm going to be using is the Infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal. And this is my second time using it. And I do like this foundation, but we'll see how it looks. Um, it says it has a radiant finish and it's for normal to dry skin, which is why I got it. And I didn't get the matte one because I have dry skin and it's so annoying so and this is my first like drugstore foundation i don't use drugstore foundation so i was a little bit skeptical but i do like how this came out um i don't know like for all the time but i definitely do like this foundation so let's get started on this so i'm just going to take some of this foundation and i'm just going to dab on my face Whoa! My hair is just like in the way. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm gonna make little dots. Like, let's just have some fun with it. I'm just gonna take this flat brush and I'm going to just start to blend my foundation out. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring my foundation over my eyelids because I'm not going to put any eyeshadow up there. I just want my face to be completely covered in foundation. Oh, I forgot to mention that I used my Smashbox Oil Primer. Um, I just did a really light coat of this on my face um, before I applied my foundation. And this is in the color... What color is this? Oh. Cream... Creamy Cafe? Creamy Cafe? I think this is the color. All right, moving right along. So I have um, these two concealers that I'm going to use for my concealer, and um, I'm going to use the cool tan one, and then I'm going to use medium beige on top of that for my concealer. So I'm just going to apply that right under the eyes, and on the nose. I'm running out of this. I need some more. I'm always like, oh, to the hood. 
ayuda. Now to go in with the medium beige. Next, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm like out of that. I'm not really, I got, I got a lot left, but I feel like I'm not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not really gonna bake my face. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like every time you do a makeup look, like every occasion, like every day, you have to do like bake your face every time you go out of the house. That's just me. I mean, we can agree to disagree, you know? I just feel like I'm not really, it's not necessary all the time. So I'm just gonna lightly put this on. Next, I'm gonna take this Black Radiance press powder in the color Rich Mahogany. And my best friend, let me hold hers. Thank you, Kay Hips Corner. Shout out to you. So I'm just gonna do like a little powder contour. I feel like the cream is just too much. You know, cute, simple. So I'm just gonna make sure everything, we just brush it out, make sure everything blends. I'm gonna take one of my favorite eyeliners from L'Oreal as well. Slap that on real quick. I'm gonna take my Better Than Sex Mascara, which I always use. It's my die-hard favorite. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite blush that I always use for MAC, Desert Rose. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing it. It just like matches my skin so nice. I just love it. I'm just gonna take um, my Gold Deposit MAC, my Gold Deposit from MAC highlight. And I love this. I like it for darker tones, light tones. It's a pretty good highlighter. And then I'm gonna take my NYX Butter Gloss. And what color is this? This is Tiramisu. So what's the other color? Anyway, so I'm gonna take the color in Tiramisu. I love this lip gloss because it's just like a nice little natural pink. I like it. I got a little darker, so I don't know. Let's see. That's not bad. And here we have it. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, not that hard. So I really hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.